enemies won't do you any favors. I think we all inherently know this, right? But hear me out. So I was walking up to the gym the other day and you know, I saw nursing students who generally they kind of have to take the shuttle up to the, to the hospitals. And so I saw one of those shuttle buses coming down, coming down the street. And I was just thinking like, if I was cool with that bus driver, you know, maybe they would stop and get me a ride, even though it's not their designated stop. Cause you know, you know how bus drivers, they have to like follow their, their paths and they're not allowed to stop at bus stops that aren't their designated bus stops. So they're not allowed to just pick somebody off the street, even if they just like wave their hand, they'll, they'll usher you to go to the next bus stop or something, even if you're like just trying to get on the bus and if you miss it, you're gonna be late for work. You know, they don't care about that. Their job is, oh, hey, we only have to go to the bus stops and if you're not at a bus stop, you're kind of screwed. So, you know, I was just kind of thinking that if I was cool with the bus driver, they would probably stop and allow me to hop on the ride and, you know, take me to where I wanted to go. And, you know, that kind of just got me thinking about the idea of having friends like around in different avenues of your life. Just being fucking friends with a bus driver. I'm not saying that you have to be best buddies with him, but what I am saying is it doesn't hurt to go out of your way to be kind to people, to make good impressions on them. Like if you just go on and, and uh, every time you ride the bus, you don't, you just go sit down and don't really say anything, right? You know, that's, that's perfectly fine and you can get by doing that. But in times of need, of in times where you could use some help like say you're running late to work and you need to get on the bus but you're not completely at the stop but you see your your friend driving the bus and you're like hey could you stop real quick and then you know then you could got, get on the ride even when it wasn't really you know meant to be and same thing kind of goes with homework and you know I, I see this a lot during school if you make enemies in your class and just you don't you know people don't fuck with you in school no one's going to send go out of their way to send you homework or anything like that. And I'm not saying that that's, you know, how you should be completing all your assignments or whatever, but you know, nobody's going to reach out to to study with you or to ask you how you did on the exam or how you're doing with the material, how how you felt after lecture, right? People won't do that unless you're on good terms with them. And same thing goes here. You don't have to be best friends with everybody in your classes. But what I am saying is it doesn't hurt to befriend a couple people in your classes. So then, you know, you could, you know, share time outside of class to even, you know, catch up and maybe even develop a stronger relationship as friends. And then, you know, people will be more willing to be kind to you and go out of their way and be like, oh, hey, yeah, I have this, uh, this template that I can share with you or I have these homework assignments this it's happened so many times this semester where you know maybe i'm running a little bit late on an assignment and i'm like i just reach out to one of my friends that are in the same class and i'm like oh hey you know did you do this assignment yet or i need to like compare my answers to see if i did what i needed to do or if i was a little stuck on a problem i was like hey could you help me out with this problem and people are more than willing to do things for for you if you reciprocate that same energy so like you know, early in the semester, I was more than willing any time that they need to reach out for help with any of the problems, you know, I'd be more than willing to just, you know, send over my assignments, not necessarily just to give them just the work and then devoid them of any, any homework doing responsibilities because there's, you know, a fine line to balance there. But, you know, just the idea of doing favors for people, making friends will only be a net positive. And I'm not saying you have to spread yourself super thin to the point where you're trying to be friends with every single person you interact with. But, you know, there are certain environments that it doesn't hurt to have a couple friends because they will be more willing to do favors for you than if you just go around making enemies out of everybody. You're like, oh, I don't I don't fuck with anybody. Nobody in my class, you know, you try to just be a villain. You know, that's not going to help you in many regards. I don't think there's many net benefits from that, honestly, unless you can think of any, but feel free. I think that, you know, making friends has, you know, a lots of lots of benefits to it. So that's kind of just one proponent. I'm advocating for making friends. 
in your classes, in your life, just in random places too, like, you know, at the gym, the bus driver, etc., etc. But that was just like a random thought for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to stay on target.